and welcome to the Big Fat Quiz of the Year. This is the show that deals with all the most important stories of the last 12 months. Except that one. <laughs> no, we, we won't focus on all the bloodshed, hatred and raging conflict. That wouldn't be fair to Holly or Phil. <laughs> Our first round is all about 2023's biggest headlines. In June, horny cabbage patch doll Boris Johnson resigned as an MP. <laughs> I assume to spend more time with his families. <laughs> Essentially, Boris Johnson treated the country like every lover he's ever had, screwed it and then left. <laughs> In June, Harry, the ginger, formerly known as Prince, <laughs> became the first British royal to give evidence in court for 130 years. It's disgusting the way the press have tried to manipulate gaslight and control Harry. I mean, who do they think they are? Meghan? <laughs> OK, good. <laughs> yes, please. Yes, Mel, yes. No. no! I don't know. <laughs> Shh! Uh, Kevin, uh, they've spent billions of dollars oh. on AI technology. <laughs> and even with that, they couldn't make you look cool. Have a look. <laughs> billions. Billions, Kevin. Billions spent. Yeah, that's strong. <laughs> The first one looks all right. That's just like something you'd see like, on the wall in a bar in Boston or something. <laughs> like a on famous a, local yeah. fighter or something. The middle one looks like he's a streetwise golfer who doesn't play by the rules. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to come back after he fatally broke his middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> Probably flipping someone off. For the last question in this round, esteemed actor Charles Dance is reading an extract uh -huh. from an autobiography released this year. All I want to know is. Who is the mystery author? My penis was oscillating between extremely <laughs> sensitive and borderline traumatised. I'd been trying some home remedies, including one recommended by a friend. She'd urged me to apply Elizabeth Arden cream. My mum used that on her lips. You want me to put that on my todger? <laughs> I found a tube, and the minute I opened it, the smell transpired ported me through time. I felt as if my mother was right there in the room. Then I took a smidge and applied it down there. <laughs> Weird. Really doesn't do the feeling justice. <laughs> that was very strong. Yeah. You don't do two seasons that of Game of Thrones without picking up some tricks. <laughs> Pretty that terrific. Was brilliant. Book of the year, I'd say. Yeah. Oh, what do you think, Mel? Prince Harry Spare. Prince Harry Spare. Uh, Kathy, Harry! Rose. <laughs> okay, uh, Mo, Kevin. Uh, we had Harry He's as well. He's no longer a prince, eh? We just put Harry. Is he still, is he still known as Prince Harry? Um, He's not a prince no more. Well, he is still a prince, but it's. He's having a mini retirement. <laughs> Let's go back to Charles Dance, the one and only for the answer. That was Spare by Prince Harry. <laughs> In October, Liam Gallagher recorded announcements for Manchester's tram network. Manchester's Metrolink has eight lines, much like Liam did every morning before breakfast in the 90s. <laughs> girls Aloud reformed after an 11-year hiatus, but the girls say they will not be releasing any new music. So. It's not all bad news. <laughs> Why did this fairly mundane Instagram story from pop superstar oh. Dua Lipa showing her cooking for her friends and yeah. fam make headlines back in June? That looks rough, doesn't it? What is that supposed <laughs> Those are vegetables, Kevin. <laughs> Welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz of the Year. Unless you've only just tuned in, in which case, don't worry, you've not missed much. <laughs> This round is all about film and TV. In October, Colleen and Wayne Rooney released a documentary about the Wagatha Christie trial. The documentary was on Disney+, Plus, which caused some confusion, as a lot of kids saw Wayne in the trailer and thought there was a new Shrek film. <laughs> <laughs> is it time to pull out the Polish handmade uh, cherry brandy? It is. <laughs> That's not a euphemism. <laughs> Guys, is there if anyone wants it? Can I, can I try some? Handmade by my friend. I want them. some. I love you. Oh, oh, I have it now, she did... oh, you're going to wake up in a dumpster. Right. <laughs> Rosie, do you want some? It's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Rosie, oh. another bite. It's very sweet, yeah. though. 
Oh, yeah, no, you would imagine. <laughs> Jimmy, do you want a little sharpener? I'm, I'm, I'm cutting right down on cherry brandy. Okie dokes. <laughs> Jimmy only drinks WD-40. <laughs> 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 In July, the new social media app Threads launched. Threads offered a brand new way for people all over the world to call each other Nazis and snowflakes. <laughs> there were hopes Threads would become part of our everyday language. And in a way, it has. As everyone said, I've just deleted Threads. <laughs> In November, Collins Dictionary crowned AI as its word of the year. People are increasingly worried AI will destroy our civilization and enslave us all. Sad, really. China hasn't even had their go. <laughs> I asked you what TV moment of the year upset viewers. What did you all think it was? Pip Schofield leaving. Oh. Oh, no, it wasn't. Based no. on a video game. <laughs> oh, oh, based on a video game? Yeah. Well, we right, also rewind. Jimmy Carr live and laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Not the name of any one of my specials. <laughs> well, no one's been laughing. <laughs> Curse you. I'm going to show you scenes from films released this year which have been subtly improved with an appearance from me. Oh, All I want you to do God. is name that film. First up, here you go. <laughs> OK, what film was that from? And I will need the number. Oh, come on. You need the number? You see? I don't. You're not come out, my no, no hat. Well, we'll never know because I bought this. <laughs> it's like a hat you can't take off. OK, what did you write? Expendables. It's expendables. <laughs> Is that your...? I think it might be four, but I'm not sure it could be three. <laughs> what? Not to say. What the fuck, man? <laughs> Is it... Are you put? Is this your real voice? <laughs> Mate, this is how I speak when I'm at home. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's four or it could be three. <laughs> Try to tell. That's really good. Could be five. We've been making them for a while. <laughs> is this your own voice? I swear that is, to my that is his own voice. That I was his voice. I told you before. <laughs> How many times I'd have to tell his character it's my real voice? <laughs> if I you put just... on the funny voice for the TV, all go, go, go. As soon as I get in the motor, I slip it into first. It's like... <laughs> Uh, uh, what did you write? You you put the... We put Expendables, and we didn't really know which one either. We guessed three. You right. guessed three? Uh, which which one have you gone for? Kevin, Mo? We didn't have a clue, so I thought it looks like an EastEnders Christmas special with Max Brannan. <laughs> it was Expendables 4. No! Yeah, Expendables 4. Yeah. Yeah. Expendables four. We wasn't going to get that. Points to uh, Richard Bell. Let's, no. let's take a look at Jason Statham in Expendables 4 in the original action pack scene. Here we go, here he is. You can, you can sort of see... Yeah. <laughs> OK. Now, the last one, I should warn you, if you're of a delicate disposition, might be an idea to go and make a cup of tea. This is going to be quite distressing. Take a look. <laughs> Jimmy, you look like Amanda Holden there. <laughs> <laughs> Nigel Farage's bank account was shut by Coots because of his views. Well, if banks are going to start closing people's accounts because they said something controversial, then I'm going to have to start keeping my money under my mattress. I say, start. <laughs> Will Smith's wife revealed that they've been separated for seven years. Now, I wouldn't normally refer to her as Will Smith's wife, but apparently I have to keep her name, and I quote, out of my fucking mouth. <laughs> In June, Sir Elton John headlined Glastonbury. Elton is now 76, which means these days when he shouts, I'm still standing, it's because he wants you to give up your seat. <laughs> In February, Nicola Sturgeon stood down, or stood up, hard to tell. She's the size of Mrs. Fucking Pepper Pop. <laughs> Time for a special guest now, uh, known for putting the cha 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 into Channel 4 News. It's everyone's favourite, Krishnan Guru Murthy. <laughs> dance, baby, dance. Oh, yeah, please. Yeah, Thank you very much. Um, yeah. I mean, you're looking fabulous. It's very nice to have you on the show. Krishna Guru Murthy, everyone. Give him a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There we are. Um, very nice to see you. Thank how you. Was, how was Strictly? It was, it was, it was life-changing and wonderful. 
OK, and you have a question for us, I believe? I do. Well, see, I mean, I suppose normally when I'm not dancing, I'm known for harder questions. But one of the biggest TikTok trends of this year involved husbands, boyfriends, fathers and brothers yeah. being asked a simple question about history. Mm. What was the question? Yeah. Mm. And all that's me. Oh, OK, I, we, I think we know this. I think yeah, we, yeah, they yeah, maybe yeah. know this. I know, though. Okay, so, so uh, now, you opted not to leave your wife during Strictly. That seemed like an odd choice. Yeah, it was... <laughs> oh, my God. That show is losing its edge. Yes. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Yeah. When the news is finished, yeah, when you do this thing with the papers, what, why, what, why do you do this? Like, you look, finish the news, and you... Is there anything actually... <laughs> I've always wanted to it's know this It's a very good question. question. I swear on my life. There's nothing actually happening. There is scripts on the papers, but we don't read the scripts. Oh, well, I never read it. OK, did you all get this one? Let's have a look. Let's see if they got it. Richard, Mel, let's go to you. Mm. Can you name any woman from the past? <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was something like that. <laughs> something like that, OK. So close. Uh, Mo, Kevin? We got it exact, I think. How often do you think about the Roman Empire? Uh, Catherine, Rosie? Uh, yeah, we've got the same. But... Yeah. OK, uh, what's the answer? The answer was, how often do you think about the Roman Empire? Yeah. yeah. The right answer? Yeah. Yes, yes, no. <laughs> really? Yeah. It'd be crazy not to ask, how often do you think about the Roman Empire? Apparently it's like every day or something mad, isn't it? That was like... Yeah. Men were saying they thought about the Roman Empire all the time. Why? And it was very surprising. OK, Rosie, Catherine? Well, I remember this because I agree. Uh, Victoria's really funny in that, Doc. Yes. Yeah. She's and hilarious. She, she is. And she's come up with DB's sticky stuff. I, I knew it was something like that. Yeah. Yeah. DB's sticky stuff is the right answer. I presume you got it, Richard, Mel? Yes, although we put mm. sticky bits at well, the Well, you say we. <laughs> OK, so we're saying no point, point, no what? point. Oh, oh come yeah. on. Hey, I don't make the rules. Jim, Just I'm joking, on. I do. OK, it's time for I Say What You See now. Oh. All I want to know is oh. what headline oh, no. do these oh. images represent? Don't say it out loud. Mel, I'm talking to you. <laughs> it's a headline from this year. Yes! I'm hungry. OK. Daddy's hungry. <laughs> Yes, please. Yeah. Thank you, Rosie. Thanks, my love. Oh, thank you. Lovely. Yeah, baby. Okay. Have you all got something down? Yes. yes. Uh, Kevin, Mo, what have you gone for? So it's bed bugs, infestation, bed bugs infestation. Yeah. And then in in Paris. In Paris. Okay. S all sparkle right. Sparkle frying pan, Nick Knowles. <laughs> <laughs> Sparkler frying pan, <laughs> Nick Knowles. <laughs> Rosie, Catherine? Bad bug in bed station. Smart panic. Ah! Habit. Ah, oh, fuck. We were too full. Fuck, man. The next round is all about the year's water cooler moments. In May, Liverpool hosted Eurovision. Originally, the contest was supposed to take place in Ukraine, but was moved to Liverpool due to the war. With destroyed buildings, a lack of basic sanitation, <laughs> and violence erupting on every street corner. You can finish that joke yourselves, can't you? <laughs> in May, Greggs won a battle with Westminster Council to sell sausage rolls in Leicester Square until 2 a.m. The big question now where are Greggs going to find a gourmet chef to work that late into the night? <laughs> in February, Lilt changed its name to Fanta, Pineapple, and Grapefruit. What? Um, yeah. Well. <laughs> Drips and drabs, Jimmy. Drips and drabs. <laughs> Give me some warning. It brought the entire nation together to say, wait, Lilt was pineapple and grapefruit flavour. <laughs> Lilt had been accused of cultural appropriation. You know, using Jamaican stereotypes and ting. <laughs> what fashion trend reminded people of Astro Boy, Ronald McDonald and Dora the Explorer's best friend? What do you think? That was the, uh, the big red boots. Damn. The big red boots? How does Mo Gilligan know that? OK, uh... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Catherine, Rosie? Big red <laughs> boots! Uh, and did you get this, Mel? Well, I put knee, well, we put yeah, knee-high knee boots knee and then red. Boots. Did you say red? Yes. Yeah. OK, it was the fashion brand Mischief released their big red boots. I'll model them for you. Ooh. These are the big red boots. Wow. And it's, a, it's a strong look, isn't it? 
I don't like how Snoopy's changed. <laughs> <laughs> And those are the real boots? Yeah, those are the real boots. What are you going to do with them after the show? I'll buy them I'll... off you. You'll buy them off me? Yeah, I'll, I'll buy them off you. They're, they're cold. You can have them. Oh, for free? Yeah. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> you know. It's called a tax write-off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs>